Alright, what's up guys? So this is episode 8 of the Horrifying Nights universe. So, it's crazy to think we are two episodes away from finishing season 2 already. So I talked about 2006 and the cult mysteriously disappearing. This week's episode is going to be a lot quicker because I, I have the flu. Um, I, I think I'm coming down with the flu. I, I'm getting... A really bad cough. Um, my voice uh, feels backed up because of my throat and all that stuff. So, <clears throat> if you hear that, that's my dog because he thinks I'm uh, gone. So I have to go get him. Actually, I'm gonna go do that right now. Okay, I got him. So for episode eight, I'm going to talk about. Uh, 2007, so just 2007 today. Tomorrow I'm going, I mean, not tomorrow, um, for episode 9, I'm going to talk about 2012, and then for the season finale, I'm going to talk about 2013, because season 3, I'm going to start getting into the year that changed everything in 2017, so. So, 2012, I mean, 2007. My prequel movies for the man. Uh, the first prequel ended because there was three prequel movies. It was a trilogy of prequel movies that led up to the very first man movie. So this one led to 2007. It was from 1997 to 2007. And just that stretch for... The man and all that stuff, and at the end of the man one, the man became the man. He found a hoodie, which is his signature look, and he put it on. He said, I found the two people that kidnapped and murdered my wife. I'm going to find them, kidnap them, stalk them, and then kill them. And, uh, yeah, so that's what happened at the end of The Man 1. So make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.